we are continuing our novelist Mulkaraj Anand. As you all know that in the earlier video, I have told you about the biography as well as some important key facts on Mulkaraj Anand. If you haven't seen, uh, so please go and watch it. So in this video, I am going to tell you about uh, Mulkaraj Anand, uh, especially the 25 most important one-liners. They are very much important. So let's see uh, the very first uh, question. Uh, actually, this is not the question. It is a, a kind of a statement has been given about the author and you have to identify the name of the author, right? So uh, he is a novelist short story writer and art critic. He calls himself bogus professor. He translates the native idiom and proverbs into English. Who was he? So, uh, he was considered as Mulkaraj Anand. See, uh, this question may be arise like this, that which Indian novelist translates the native Indi idioms and proverb into English? So, the answer will be Mulkaraj Anand. Second question is, Anand was awarded a Silver Wedding Fund Scholarship for writing an essay on, uh, so uh, Anand got the uh, Silver Wedding Fund Scholarship because he had written an essay and he, writ uh, he had written his essay on the writer David Hume. Moving to the next question, again, some lines has been given and you have to find out that uh, which novelist is considered here as well as the work. So the lines are, all these heroes as the other men and women who had emerged in my novels and short stories were dear to me because they were the reflections of real people I had known during my childhood and youth. So, uh, these lines appear in the novel of Mulkaraj Anand and the novel was, uh, actually uh, the novel was Two Leaves and a Bud and these lines appear in the preface of Two Leaves and Bud. Next question, which novel did Anand write under the influence of James Joyce and Mahatma Gandhi? So, uh, which novel it was? The answer will be The Untouchable and it got published in the year 1935. So, the novel Untouchable was quite very much famous and he had written this novel by getting influence from the James Joyce and Mahatma Gandhi. Very important question. Next uh, question is, Anand founded the Progressive Writers Association for Indians under the guidance of. So, Anand founded a Progressive Writer Association for especially for the Indians and the guidance has been given to him and the name of the writer was Sajid Jaheer. Right, moving to the next question. Dr. Anand met a popular American novelist. This American novelist committed suicide. So, who was that novelist? So, obviously, I hope you know that that uh, the novelist Ernest Hemingway is a fa very famous American novelist, uh, but he committed suicide. Next question, Dr. Anand edited an art magazine entitled. So, what is the name of the art magazine that is edited by Mulkaraj Anand? So, the name of that art magazine is Mark. Next question, a French poet fascinated Anand very much. Who is this French poet? So, Anand uh, got very much fascinated towards this French poet and the name of the poet is Arthur Rimbaud. Next question, uh, he met a girl, fell in love with her and got inspiration for writing reminiscences modeled on Rousseau's Confessions. This work was entitled Seven Ages of Men. The girl referred here is, so the name of the girl which referred in this lines are uh, Irene. Sorry, Irene, we can call it Irene. Uh, so the question is all about that uh, this, these lines means the appearance of that girl Irene appear in the very famous novel of Anand that is Seven Ages of Men. And the another fact of this novel, Seven Ages of Man, that uh, this novel contains the autobiographical elements of Mulkaraj Anand. 
Next question. The novel Untouchable was published in 1935 by the efforts of a renowned English novelist. Who is the English novelist? So, very important question that his very renowned novel that is Untouchable and it published in the year 1935 just by the efforts of a renowned novelist, uh, especially, sorry, renowned English novelist and the name of the novelist is E.M. Foster. Moving to the next question. It was Gandhi... Uh, it was Gandhi's Young India, the famous magazine that became the inspiration for writing a novel named. So, as I just told you that um, Mulk Raj Anand had written the novel Untouchable by getting influence from Mahatma Gandhi, right? So, he got inspiration from Gandhi's Young India, the famous magazine. Right? So, which novel? So, the answer will be untouchable. Moving to the next question. This work of Anand reveals and condemns the uselessness of British pattern of education in India. This work is. Very important question again. That which work of Anand reveals and condemns the, the uselessness of British pattern of education in India. So, name the work. The answer will be a lament on the death of master of arts. So, this work is specifically, in this work, Anand condemns the uselessness of British pattern of education in India that has been implemented. Right? Next question is, about which book does Anand say, it rushed out of me in one month. Right? Very important phrase given by Anand that uh, he has said about one of his books, the name of the book, uh, the name of the novel is The Private Life of an Indian Prince. Next question. In Untouchable, who was the head of all the sweeper? So the answer is Lakha. Uh, yes, you have to remember the name of the characters also. So uh, here the novel is Untouchable and the Untouchable uh, novel who was the head of all the sweepers. So, the name of that head is Lakha. Next question, Anand is an active fighter for the modern movement in our country. He is a wonderful human being, a loyal friend. Who said? So, who said about Mulkaraj Anand these lines? So, the answer will be Sajid Jaheed. Next question, who has written the preface of Untouchable? Very important question. So, the preface of Untouchable has been written by E.M. Foster. Next question. This novel describes a day in a life of a sweeper boy, Bakha of 18. Which novel is this? So, the answer is Untouchable. See, in this video, you will get most of the uh, question from the novel Untouchable because it is quite important to uh, know the theme as well as the characters of Untouchable. So, uh, characters as well as the uh, theme of Untouchable might be asked in your examination. So, in this video, I am giving most of the questions from the Untouchable and in the second part of uh, this video contain the other novels of R, uh, sorry, uh, novels of Mulkraj Anand. Moving to the next question number 18. Who tried to molest Sohini, sister of Bakha in the novel Untouchable? And the answer is Kalinath. So, you came to know about the characters here. Do remember that Sohini uh, is the sister of Bakha and uh, who tries to molest her? The answer is Kalinath. So, Sohini, Bakha and Kali Nath appear in the novel Untouchable, right? 19th question. Uh, see, uh, this, uh, this question is about Mulkraj Anand. That, uh, what, what are the qualities of Mulkraj Anand? Here, some qualities has been given and you have to identify the Indian novelist. So, I am just reading it out. Do listen it carefully. This novelist hates fascism exploitation, colonialism, and atomic race. In his novels, he hits superstitious, social backwardness, and religious conservatism. He loves and has sympathy for the poor and untouchable. 
he believes that all problems can be solved by united human efforts who is the indian novelist so the answer will be mulkaraj anand moving to the next slide this novelist contributed his papers to the criterion of ta serial so who is that indian novelist so the answer is mulkaraj anand do remember that mulkaraj anand has contributed his all papers most of his papers to the criterion of ts eliot next question the character gulabo appears in the novel untouchable so as i just told you about all the characters like uh, lakha bakha sohini and the another character is gulabo next question again the character colonel hutchinson appears in the novel untouchable so do, do remember all the uh, characters name next question the outcast colony was a group of mud walled houses that clustered together in two rows under the shadow both of the town and the cantonment but outside their boundaries and separate from them this is the beginning of which novel untouchable so as i just told you that uh, most of the questions are from untouchable so this is also very important question that the starting lines of untouchable has been given here and you have to identify so do remember these lines these are the starting line of the very famous renowned novel untouchable moving to the next slide a uh, next question is they think we uh, they think we are mere dirt because we clean their dirt right so again this is a very famous line appeared in the novel untouchable next question uh the original edition of untouchable was dedicated to edith young do remember that the original edition of untouchable was dedicated to edith young later two more names were added one of them was k s shelvenkar and the other name was mahatma gandhi you know very well that um, mulkaraj anand take inspiration from mahatma gandhi as well to write the novel untouchable next question again you have to identify the indian novelist so some of the uh, events has been given here you have to identify that these events are related to which indian novelist so the events are the last question this novelist was much influenced by the three events one death of his cousin and classmate kaushalya next suicide of his aunt devki and another one is his own arrest and caning by the police for breaking the law during the jallianwala bag massacre who was he so the answer will be dr mulkaraj anand so uh, that's all for today thank you so much for listening so for getting uh, these kinds of videos just hit the subscribe button thank you so much